everybody, this is Dr. Kate Copeland with Life Strength Family Chiropractic. We are back again for another episode with Nicole, the raw juice girl here in Naples. Thanks again for being with us. Thank you for having me. Yeah, absolutely. So we're going to dive into cancer a little okay. bit. So um, talk to me a little bit more here. We had just kind of had a bit of a conversation about your history with cancer. Um, so go ahead, I'll let you kind of jump from there. Okay, so at 38 years old, I found out that I had cancer, and I was like, whoa, how did this happen? You know, I thought I was healthy. I thought I was eating well. Um, right, I felt pretty good too, right? right? Yeah. Well, you know, I felt okay. Mm -hmm. I felt okay. Um, and so the cancer was removed. Um, you know, I kind of thought, well, I can heal this myself. However, you know, things kind of move fast when they find out you have cancer. Everybody says, take it out, take it out. So it was taken out. And then afterwards, I really felt horrible. And I said to myself, things have to change because when I looked back at my life, I knew that I brought cancer on myself and there was a few things that I can change that were in my power to prevent it from either coming back and, and then healing myself going forward because mm -hmm. I know the body has the ability to heal yeah. and we can heal ourselves. So um, I did a 21 day juice cleanse because I knew that that was what was going to feed my cells and mm -hmm. was going to give me vitality and that's where I started to turn the corner and also examine the thoughts that I was thinking. You know, like because when you look at cancer, there's not just one thing that's going to give you cancer. I mean, your body has the ability to fight off disease, right? So it's a it's a accumulation of different things that will give you, um, you know, a cancer, a cell that will multiply. So it was the the foods I was eating, it was the thoughts I was thinking, it was the um, action, the in inactivity or activities that I was doing, sure. and um, even you know the people that I was around, the conversations I were ha I was having, and also you know the ingredients in these foods where what hidden chemicals were in my food. So I really had to examine my cupboards and take out, I mean, literally throw out, yeah. there's, you'll never find sugar in my home, you'll never find a processed food in my home, you know. And um, and also, you know, meats, I had to look at meats because I know that there's, you know, uh, antibiotics in there. And, vaccines, you know, growth vaccine, hormones. Growth hormones, mm -hmm. you know, it's just laden with all sorts of chemicals. Sure. And so I just really just started to, to clean out things. Mm -hmm. And, um, and that's when I started to, to really feel better. And I allowed juicing the most, the purest form of food to just permeate my cells and, and wow. even to uplift my mindset, you know. Mm -hmm. um, I felt like the light that was in these vegetables were, was permeating myself on a body, body mind, um, and you know, spirit was just being uplifted completely. So um, that's how I started to heal and feel better and then I wanted to share it with people. Yeah. People were coming to me, I have I'm doing cancer, I'm doing I mean I have cancer, I'm doing radiation and, and chemotherapy, what do I do? And you know, I want to juice and I was I'm helping them juice because sometimes you can juice with too much sugar and sure. you don't want to do that or perhaps there's a certain vegetable that they should have or shouldn't have and sure. how to create a complete protein and and you know just to get um, there's a lot to it you know I think I think a big part about juicing um, I know that my experience with it and with my wife as well um, is it's it's almost uh, intimidating at first you know mm -hmm. and then you throw cancer on, on top of that you know that is almost the scariest word in the English dictionary you know um, so hats off to you with all that research I mean did you have a resource center that you went to or I mean was a lot of this all on your own. Um, I mean, I know that you talked yeah. about the history with your father, right. you know, right. uh, but I mean, it seems like you've done, you're so well versed in this. She speaks so fast, so I don't want you guys to miss anything that she's saying, you know, it's just kind of who you are, you know. Um, but yeah, I mean, was there a resource center out there for you? Or there was all sorts of books that I mm. went to, and, and um, you know, I have some, you know, an in, like an index of all different books that I have um, sure. used for information. Um, there's doctors that I've, you know, gone mm -hmm. to and spoken to and made friends with that I just, you know, pick their brain <laughs> and sort of things like this. So it's just a, a tremendous amount, but there wasn't just one resource. Okay, you know? okay, cool. All right, well, let's talk about these juices. Um, I think we were going to talk about... Um, Beets, right? Yeah. We're going to talk about beets. Beets is a great uh, vegetable. Now, I just want to start with say one thing. All of the vegetables put together is really what you need. If you're going to juice for... So um, you're telling me there's, really, no, there's no shortcut? Well, there, no. You can't just pick a couple right. things? Okay, no. there's you, no shortcut. You, know, you have to have an accumulation of all the different vegetables put together in different combinations. And mm -hmm. that's really where the where the healing comes in. Because they all work together differently, right? Sure. So, and, and then you're going to absorb better when you're getting everything all mixed together. But um, getting back to beets, beets is just a great blood purifier. Okay. Um, and also it helps to oxygenate the blood. Mm -hmm. which sends oxygen to your cells and as we were saying before cancer is an anaerobic disease meaning that you have a lack of oxygen in your cells mm -hmm. so um, you want to bring oxygen to your cells and, and rejuvenate them and give them more life so then they could reproduce and reproduce on a healthier uh, level so 
So um, beets is great. It also beets stimulates your lymph. Your lymph is what detoxifies your body. So you want to get out. If you did have chemotherapy, um, and it, you know you want to get some of those chemicals out once um, you know after you're healed, and you want to get all of this out, and um, that's really what helps you to then put the good stuff in. So you want to slowly get everything out put the good stuff in, and beets is a great way to start. Beets and some celery and uh, some lemon, and, and you're good. I always like to add lemon. I always add lemon or just a good amount of vitamin C, because mm -hmm. that's what allows your body to absorb those nutrients, is awesome. when you have a good amount of vitamin C. And then the vitamin C in your juice, especially if, if you're going to cap it off and leave it for a later um, a, a later in the day, or a day after or so, um, the vitamin C helps it to, to keep it from oxidizing. Mm -hmm. So you, you want to put a good amount of vitamin C. Sometimes I even just I like slice that. the little a bit of lemon and just put it right there in the top and then close the bottle so yeah well um, I think you know Google is out there for all of you guys if you want to do any research on kale or spinach or um, I mean the benefits of lemon ginger wheat grass beets um, I mean it's pretty clear the research is out there and all this type of sure. stuff I think we could talk about what we're getting in these juices but probably even more importantly why don't we talk a little bit about what we're not getting in these juices right. you know that's almost exactly. equally important right? right there that's that is yeah. equally if not more important yeah. it really I mean it really really is juicing is great it's a fabulous fast food and like I always say it's what God intended as <laughs> fast food right now because he told me can we, um. can we, can, all right, we're gonna have her say that one again really quick because okay. I love the line I'm gonna steal it you're gonna hear me use it all the time so let's hear that one more time so, um, juicing is the best is what God intended no, wait, hold on. <laughs> Juicing is what God intended as fast food. Love it. Love and it. I, I love that line. Because he told me. <laughs> <laughs> so um, it is. And you're getting great nutrition that your body doesn't have to work for its nutrients. But like what we were saying before, you, what you don't have in juice is also just as important. Amazing. Okay? Amazing. I love it. I mean, I have a list for you out there of all these chemicals that I made research for that's common in, in today's yep. food. Yep. And I'm sure you, you know, you're well versed on this as well. However, um, you're not getting any anything. And you're not getting any shelf stabilizers, any food colorings, love any it. food flavorings, any, any food food enhancers, and that's really um, what the beauty is, because it's just, it it's pure food. You know, all those other chemicals, we, we have to stay away from them. We have to. We've all seen the quotes on Facebook, you know, the one by Ann Wigmore that says, you know, food can either be our, um, our safest form of medicine or our yeah. slowest form of poison. Uh, we've seen the other things that every bite that you take or every meal that you take is either going to get you one step closer to health or one step closer to sickness. So here it is. Um, you've got the information. You've got a wonderful juice expert here, a resident juice expert, Nicole. Um, you know, you, you have all the research. Um, really the biggest thing that I see is a lack of action. So there's no excuses now. This is uh, what God intended to be fast food. Um, we are created and designed to be healthy. We just have to take the proper action steps to make that happen. So um, thank you guys for joining us. We're going to have another couple series here in these videos. Thank you as thank well you. for all of your wonderful smiles, your information, your contagious personality, and your passion behind this. So thank you again. We'll see you guys soon.